was speaking about before. Brendan's been reminiscing about his football career and he posted this, right? This old picture of him um, playing for Colorado back in the day when he was in college and shit or when he was in the practice school, whatever this fucking era was. It wasn't proper. He hardly played, whatever. It's all kind of a bit fugazi. And obviously he's only doing it now because, you know, Colorado are doing well at the moment. So he's obviously trying to, you know, clout chase a little bit, whatever. He posts it. It's a, good, it's a cool picture, but there's a lot more to it. I didn't know about this term. I didn't know what it meant until I read the Reddit. And allegedly this term is to, is like a sports term, I guess you got out in the States that basically means bench warmer. <laughs> and isn't this kind of rude? Or is it meant to be a funny thing? Because if I'm Brendan and these, I think these guys are my friends, I'm not going to be too happy about reading this. So let's scroll down. This is the picture Brendan posted, right? And if you scroll down to the replies, you will see someone that you might recognize here. Taylor Lewin, right? The football player that obviously got the podcast called Bussing with the Bros. Or Bussing with the Boys, sorry. Or whatever it's fucking called. Look at the, look at the comment he, he said here under the post. Brendan Pine Shorb. If you're Brendan, wouldn't you be offended if you saw that? Wouldn't that kind of hurt your feelings? <laughs> They're going to be friends and he's calling him out on these comments like this. Like, that's kind of rough, isn't it? Brendan Pine Shorb, you know. And hold on, let's scroll up to the actual picture. What's the likes? Okay, cool. It's got more. It's got 1,320 1, likes on the post and that one by the comment by Taylor. Um, Lewin has... Uh, 565 so I, I thought you got ratioed but that is crazy to say that isn't it Brendan Pine Shorb I didn't know that was a term but I guess that's a term that you use there um, what are you guys saying yeah exactly but yeah exactly <laughs> super jello <laughs> I just see your comment you can AZ thought he had the chance as a jockey <laughs> I thought I'd get my fat ass on the horse <laughs> and win. <laughs> I thought I'd be a gymnast in it. Oh, I thought I'd represent my country in the Olympics. Oh my God, if we would be a jockey. You know? <laughs> oh you guys are fucking evil man i swear you guys are fucking evil i swear to god you guys are evil um uh uh bench warmer equals riding the pine yeah exactly thank you um crash for saying that i just found out i didn't know it was a thing um olympic to dan dutta said olympic of lifting is much technique as it is strength. I only do Olympic lifting as a hobby and I see people of all heights and types doing killing it. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, you're right, probably there. My my, my technique probably wasn't the best. Um, you have to pay to chair. Da, da, da. Uh, wait, what are people saying here? Though? Check mark? What, do I have a check mark? No, I don't. Oh, um, I, I bought fucking, I've got, what you call it? Big up Indian dude, appreciate Super Chat, brother. Hey, Zinger. I watched UFC Paris and the French crowd was fire. Amazing crowd energy, singing and chanting. Are they always like this or is it because they just got MMA into France now? I have no idea to be fair. That's a good question. I, again, I didn't, I, didn't, um, I didn't watch it live with the sound, but I did watch the fucking highlights back and it was la like when fucking Cyril Gann was fighting, it was, they were chanting the entire time. It was crazy. I'm not really too sure to be fair, but I would assume um, as I've known, you know, in Europe, there's a big, you know, fighting is huge in Europe. So I'm assuming just in general, maybe the UFC has become popular, but it's been, fighting has been popular in Europe for a long, long time. There's many different leagues and divisions and organizations and shit, um, you know, especially in that part of the world as well, the Dutch, um, the Germans, the French, the Italians, like they're into their fighting. So it's no surprise that they're super, super getting into it, especially now that they've got um, actual legitimate, um, you know, people from their country that are doing it at the highest level. So it makes a lot of sense. But yeah, that one was a fun one. It was actually really, really fun to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, big up uh, that India dude. Appreciate the super chat, brother. Um, let's read the comments here under the pine comment. Because again, if I'm Brendan, I'm, that's gonna hurt my feelings. I'm not gonna lie. Um, let's continue. Um, what are people saying here about the thing? Oh, I was saying here. So I was saying about the um, about the check thing. 
Yes, it on Twitter. I got Twitter blue, so I've got Twitter blue, and on Twitter you can fucking or X whatever it's called now. You can fucking um turn off the check mark on your account, which is kind of cool to be fair. I think it's kind of corny having a fucking verified tick next to your name, so you can actually turn it off. So you can have all the features of Twitter, which means like you'd have extended um. You can have fucking um, longer tweets. You can upload longer videos, all the whatever benefits that they have. But then you can also not have the fucking blue thing next to your fucking name, which is kind of cool. I hope they do that. On, if they do it on Instagram, I'll do the same thing, to be fair. Um, I'm not really too bothered about the fucking clout of people seeing the blue tick. But if you give me good features and shit, I'll take it. Anyway, so the replies to fucking Taylor's comment. And then we go to uh, the chin stuff. Was going to say, dude played special teams. Um, have short... Um, have Shum tell you about how badly he bullied his college team? Oh, Jesus Christ, these people in the comments. I've got a, I've got a prediction. Brendan's going to start closing his comments soon. He's going to restrict them. So whoever you guys out there who are like trolling in the comments, have your fun now while it lasts because he's going to close them because the, the replies on these tweets are brutal, bro. Like they do not play. Have, have Shum tell you about how badly he bullied his college teammate next time you see him. He ate all his food and threw him through a sliding glass door, glass window. Great teammate B. But he said he ran a 4.640 and he benched 2.25 for 40 reps. And he said that he was a beast in college. Yet he only had 12 total yards. <laughs> Something ain't adding up, Baba. You know what's funny about the yards? Um, again, I'm only learning about football now little by little. You know what I loved in my head? Because you guys would give me all the information and give me a bit of fucking homework. I saw the stats for, um, is it um, Prime, Coach Prime's son, right? The one that was playing quarterback. Didn't he run like 500 yards in one game or something? Was it something like that? Am I, am I mistaken it? So when I saw that number, I was like, it's hilarious. Now I get why people are dunking on Brendan because he only had 12 yards his entire college career. <laughs> and this kid had like 500 in one game. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Again, different positions, I know, whatever. But yo, that's embarrassing. Like that's embarrassing. That's <laughs> Oh god. Um anyway. What are you guys saying in the chat? Oh did I get oh, I got it wrong, didn't I? Damn it, I got it wrong. Okay, cool. He threw for see the I am I'm I'm so close but not there. Uh Crash. He threw for five hundred yards. I thought he ran. I was like, damn. I'm about to say that's kind of a beast. He's a quarterback, he's fucking throwing that shit all over the fucking field and he's running five hundred yards. Like, nope. He only uh he only he only threw for five hundred yards. But that's still a lot though, isn't it? That mean that must have mean he he must have been throwing a lot the entire game. So that still doesn't you know. Um oh, anyway. People, okay, people are saying, yeah, 12 yards for a full season isn't actually not that bad. Okay, maybe. What do you guys in the chat think? Do you guys actually, do you, do you guys agree? Is 12 yards not bad for a, for a fullback for an entire season? I guess if you want to impress and get a contract, right, get a pro contract, you probably have to do a little bit more, innit? I'm assuming. That's probably what people are trying to say. Maybe. He set the record for passing yards at Colorado. For a fullback, though. Okay, cool. Okay, for a fullback. Okay, no, okay, okay. For a fullback, cool, 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 cool. Fair enough. Anyway, let's continue. Um, Travis Hunter had 110 more snaps today than Shorb had in two seasons at CU. Brendan, not funny. Shorb, Sean Astin had a better college career playing um, Rudy Rutiga. I don't know who Rudy Rutiga is. More players like Taylor Lewin need to call him out more. Yeah, you see, this is the thing I realize about football. You guys are as tribal and as possessive with it as us with football. That like, there's a lot of venom in these guys. For, like, people don't take it for they don't take it well when people lie about their career. I guess they don't like it, um, which is why it makes it even weirder that Brendan is still carrying on with this lie. He knows the football crowd don't take that too lightly, and he just continues to roll with it. Interesting. Best part is Shaw is better at football than comedy. Hmm. Interesting take. I don't know if I do. Do you guys agree with that? Is Brendan technically better at? Was Brendan better at football than he is at comedy? If the top is like the top of comedy is getting a fucking comedy special on a major network, in it, whether it's streaming or Showtime, and he did it in year one or two of his comedy career, 
he obviously didn't deserve it. Not funny enough, but he did it. I think that's a better, higher achievement than anything he did in football, personally. No? <clears throat> Interesting take, but I don't think that's true. I think Brendan's comedy career is definitely better than his football career, for sure. Look, look, look at the life. Look at the life it's afforded him. Um, another one says, be careful. He'll light you up, B. He ran a 4-6 and benched 225 40 times. Dude's a beast. Casey Affleck told him so when he had tears in his eyes. <laughs> okay, I like this one. I have to like that one. That Casey Affleck lie is one of my favorite lies of Brenda's. I swear to God. Um, Lee, I mean, we're talking about a dude who has a jersey for every sports team in America. Okay, cool. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, every sports team in America. Oh. Da, 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 da. Okay, so um, Nutboy Juice is saying for a fullback, anything above 20 yards is actually okay. Okay, cool. So he didn't do too bad for his position. Um, Brendan played no NFL team. He tried out and he didn't make it to training camp. Simple as that. Uh, but I bet there's people out there that even say if they got in training camp, wouldn't say they had an NFL career. That's, that's the funny thing. There's people who've probably achieved more in their NFL career, who are probably way more shy and humble about their run, even though they've done more. But Brendan's done less, and he brags about it like he's fucking Heisman winner or something. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's weird. Another one, uh, be careful. No, Taylor and Will Compton should chat to should chat on Bussing with the Bow about how Bapa says he played football despite only having four yards. Also, look into his cup of coffee with the Bills. Subreddit verified in 2016. In 20, 2006, sorry, he was not signed to the practice squad like he claims. Shaw had 10 yards total and claimed not to be a starter of color. Not <laughs> yeah, this is another part of the story, isn't it? And claimed he and blamed not not be able to start the color of his skin. Uh, yeah. So people are obviously not happy. All the Reddit guys. Oh, th th this yeah. Let's not even talk about this guy in it because he's obviously um trying to ting there. But yeah. Big up everybody in the comments there for reminding him of the thing. And then let's uh, jump over to the fucking Chin Man. Let's see what Chin Man is saying. Uh, let's do it one more second. Let's go to Chin Man. Bear with me. Ba -ba -ba. Chin Man is out here doing. See what you guys saying in the chat. Um, Brandon played for no NFL. DF I said already. Fullbacks are extinct now. Pat McAfee is more humble and he actually was exactly, yo, that's a good example. Great example, Pat McAfee. He always downplays his NFL career and he was actually, you know, he had an NFL career. <laughs> but Brendan, yeah, anyway, what could he do? I knew a guy that went to the open tryouts for the, the for the do games and and always told people he was in the do games. <laughs> Lowe's. Um, Garcia vlogs, I think he would have been better in NBA. Now, have you seen Brendan play basketball? He doesn't look good. The funny thing about Brendan, though, which is interesting, he actually doesn't look that athletic in general, which is odd, really. Or maybe it's not odd. I don't really feel sure because again, I don't, you know, I've never, I, I've not been around like college athletes. I don't really know what they look like and how they're meant to move and stuff. But I just assumed if you're like blessed with that kind of size and you play sports from when you were young, you just should move a certain way. Brendan just doesn't move like an athlete, if that makes sense. Again, this is not this is for someone that hasn't. I played fucking Sunday league level with fucking you know pub guys with beer bellies on a weekend, but it's just something about you know if you've played any number of sports, it doesn't matter. It's just about the way someone jumps, the way they move. You just can tell that someone's just not that good. You know, <laughs> uh, Brennan doesn't look like he was a professional. You know, that's the thing that's interesting, which makes it even probably which makes his achievement of fighting in the UFC that much greater. To be fair, he should talk about that more often. The fact that he even got to the UFC and was able to pl fight at that level, yes, he was early on, but he still did it. That's a that says a lot about the guy, to be fair, because when you see him throw a ball, when you see him play basketball, he just looks. Even when when he was running, he just doesn't look like an athlete. Doesn't move like one. Like you see athletes, like, especially if you watch like Legends games, you see athletes with like beer bellies, and you can say, okay, cool, this guy you can tell used to play. You can tell this guy was pro. Like, it doesn't matter if this guy has a beer belly, is missing an arm, missing an eye. You can just tell by the, you know, hand-eye coordination, the form. Everything is just there, you know? Um, maybe not as explosive or fast as they once was or whatever it may be, but it's definitely there. Brennan just doesn't... Missing a little bit of that, which is weird, really, because he's got the size, obviously, but 
he just hasn't been able to put it together, which might explain why, you know, NFL career didn't go the way it did. 